outrage on Capitol Hill over the unusual move by the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court at The Hague requesting warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Israel's defense minister for alleged war crimes. He wants them arrested along with Hamas's leaders. Speaker Mike Johnson weighing sanctions against the ICC and Secretary of State Antony Blinken agrees. That decision, as you said, on so many levels uh, is totally wrongheaded. And um, we'll uh, be happy to work with uh, Congress, with this committee, uh, on an appropriate response. News Nation Chief Washington Acre Leland Vittert, host of On Balance, is with me now. Thank you so much, Leland. I've read deep into this story because, you know, you see the president and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle condemning this, while some of our allies, France and Belgium, are actually defending this move. The likelihood of arrest for Benjamin Netanyahu seems about as likely as Putin being arrested. However, what's the consequence for the ICC doing something like this? Well, you can look at it two ways. I think, first of all, the biggest consequence is that it gives the pro-Hamas types and certainly a lot of the protesters around the United States who sympathize with them uh, and their friends in the media more ways to criticize Israel and delegitimize Israel. What the International Criminal Court has essentially done is put Israel and Hamas on a moral equivalence and said, well, everybody's done something bad here, um, which ignores the fundamental facts. Um, and I think it under uh, completely ignores uh, the fundamental moral clarity uh, in, that exists um, in this case, that you had a ceasefire before October 7th. Uh, you had Hamas uh, come and attack Israel um, in, in brutal uh, and unimaginable ways, uh, and in ways we really haven't seen, um, perhaps uh, in terms of tactics since, since uh, the Syrian civil war. Um, and you had Israel defend itself. And while Hamas celebrates um, not only the death of Israeli civilians, but effectively the death of Palestinian civilians, because it thinks it helps uh, its public relations fight. Uh, Israel does everything to prevent the death of civilians and views them as a tragedy, even if they're Palestinian civilians. So um, the International Criminal Court, I think, has done uh, not so much a disservice to Israel in terms of uh, the issue of, uh, of arrest, but a huge disservice, um, and it was intentional, um, in terms of delegitimizing Israel's right to defend itself. And Kamir Khan, that chief prosecutor, has a long history of being bold, saying this isn't an emotional decision, this is forensics. But as soon as I found this out, because I love George Clooney's acting, I saw George Clooney's name attached to this story. His wife, Amal, through their foundation, advised the ICC on this decision. There's a whole statement if you go to their foundation. I found out through, again, reading up, she's an adjunct professor at Columbia. She served appointments at the UN, which hasn't necessarily been friendly to Israel during this process. She's presented other cases to the ICC. And then you have her husband, George Clooney, attending a Biden fundraiser later in just a matter of days. So while the president's publicly denouncing the ICC inquiry, repeatedly saying Israel has the right to defend itself, you have this other particular. Will voters see any of this as hypocrisy? Well, seeing hypocrisy in politicians, you just have to look around. That's not something that uh, is unique to, to President Biden or to Democrats. It exists on uh, both sides of the aisle. I think what you're getting at, though, is an important point, which is that President Biden is slowly moving farther and farther away uh, from Israel. And that's in large part because of uh, the, the push, not only by the the street, if you will, and all these college protesters, but by a lot of his donors. Uh, the very progressive left um, is quite anti-Israel. Um, and that is something that President Biden is, is slowly moving towards. Uh, and you compare that um, to where he started, and you compare that to, say, where even uh, Bill Clinton was, um, it's a very different Democratic Party uh, in how it views Israel and how it's willing to support Israel. And that, that's a real issue. Um, you think about the Jewish vote in Florida, which probably is going to go red anyway, but you think about the Jewish vote uh, in, in Pennsylvania in particular. Um, this, is, this is a group that has a significant uh, influence, both in terms of donor dollars and in terms of a voting bloc. Um, and it's a group that is very focused on support of Israel, which is something they never had to vote on or consider before. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.